Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the G-Shock Watcher. In today's episode, I'm taking a GX56, a big G-Shock King, and modding it with this crazy stainless steel band. Let's take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am very excited about this episode. I've got a couple of watches I want to mod. I've got one that is new to mod, and the second one I want to remod an existing watch. I've got a GX56-1 or GX-56-1MF. It's a it's a big king. It's a G-Shock king. I'm going to go ahead and actually modify this one. I also have uh, this watch previously, which I'm going to mod in a different video, which is a, a digital square. But today, we're going to focus, or at least in this video, we're going to focus on the the, the digital, the king on this one here. So this is a, a big, big digital square. And I was wanting to get my hands on one of these for quite some time. And so I found one on uh, on Bai. Now, this watch Typically, when you uh, look at this, I checked this out on uh, on Shockbase. This watch typically in Singapore goes for around about two hundred and fifty dollars. Lucky for me, I was able to score this on Bai for around about one hundred and seventy dollars. So I saved about eighty dollars. Maybe shipping was around about thirty dollars. So forty fifty dollars saving on the watch is not too bad. It's in rock solid condition. I'll show you a little bit. Uh, later when I do some uh, size comparisons but you know good condition watch really, really nice very comfortable it's a very very big watch I'm going to compare this with the Mudmaster and the digital square side by side so you can see the actual size but what really drew me to this particular watch and as you can sort of see here uh, this watch has some very very bold fluorescent colors uh, and if we, uh, we look at the history of this particular watch, um, has things I like, has multi, uh, sorry, has Tough Solar, doesn't have multi-band, but Tough Solar it's got, which is great. I love Tough Solar, no Bluetooth, which that's okay as well. Um, this was part of the Fluorescent Accent series. So Analog Digital's GX56, this one used an LED backlight instead of the EL backlight. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's, that's a new capability to help with power in the long term. But as you can see, this whole series had some very bold fluorescent colors. So we've got some BA2100s in there, um, the 100MFs. Never really played with a 100MF. Maybe that's the next one. But uh, coming down here, the uh, the BA, B. 2100 MF GAB 2100 so Bluetooth and Tough Soul that's a that's a nice watch lots of different colors in that one I actually have this watch funny enough the GA 700 but I've got that in a mixtape edition I'm not sure if it's exactly the same but it's pretty close and then of course our big digital king uh, this guy here the GX 56 now the reason why I, I had a liking to this one like I said I wanted to try a king but I also wanted to look at how you'd modify this. The fluorescent coloring is very, very bold. And so I wanted to take one of these bands I saw on uh, AliExpress and see if we could take the resin off and put a stainless steel band on it and see how it looks. I'm quite curious and anxious to see what the finished product will look like. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at the watch. Let's have a look at the, uh, the kit and let's start doing some modding. Okay, so let's take a look here. This is our G-Shock King GX56MF-1. So big, big watch, big resin band, uh, tough solar, uh, very solid watch, very, very solid watch. Now it's a big watch. Okay, so we compare this. Let's bring in a 5600. There you can actually see the size difference between the actual watches, All right? So that's a 5600, very nice watch. We're going to modify this again, not too impressed with this band. We're going to modify this with a camo titanium band, but compare the size of these watches, you know, trying to put them side by side, you can sort of see this King is a big, big watch, right? It's a very, very large watch. It sits on the wrist. So a very, very bold one as compared to the 
the 56, uh, 5600. So we got a DX56 and a 5600. Um, now compare this with Mudmaster, right? A Mudmaster we know is a fairly big watch. This is up there, right? It's, uh, let me see, side by side there. A bit bad with the lighting. I'm trying to make sure you can see that clearly. But, you know, compare these two watches side by side. It's not a small watch by any means. These are very, very big watches. So, you know, a very, very bold sort of watch that we're going to use. So what we have for this today is this band. And you can see this one's from AliExpress. Done a pretty good job. They've got the G-Shock on the actual band. It's kind of got a little oily fluorescent green to, uh, colors to it. So you can see the idea here is to match the coloring on what we see on the screen with something a bit bold. Maybe it'll be too much. I'm not too sure. We'll actually see. And then we also have the face, so protection, G-Shock on there, a big one. Um, so very, very simple. They also shipped with the pins, and the pins also have the same sort of coloring, almost like they've been burnt on there. Um, so this should be interesting to go ahead and do. And I think what we need to do here is to unscrew those sides to be able to make this uh, make this happen. I haven't done a king before. I think we need to undo those, and I think then we need to undo this to get this off, because that's not gonna go over the top by itself. I think we're going to have to remove the full resin to get under there. So let's give that one a, uh, a go. So here we go with a digital king with an AliExpress stainless steel kit to be able to utilize this one. So let's try that. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm gonna start off with these first and see if we can take off the band. And I'll use the tools that came with it, right? So I know we have some better tools, but let's try it with the tools that were supplied Okay, it's one off. Does this just come out? Oh, there we go. That was fairly easy. Just pops out. Put that to the side. Let's keep these in our tin. These are pretty solid looking screws. So they've got like the screw and then there's the screw in on the end there. I'm not sure if that's really, really clear, but you can see that's a solid, solid looking screw. More solid than I've seen from other G-Shocks. And then we just pop this off. Okay. Band is off. Next is this case. And this looks like a fairly solid case. I have a feeling how do we do this? This definitely has to come off. I'd say we need to take off this screw here and potentially these screws. But let's start with the side ones first and see if, if we can't get it out that way. Okay, that was fairly painless. Now what's next? These one's below, I think. Definitely gonna have to come out. But, oh no, hang on. Let's just try and, let's not remove anything unnecessarily. Okay. Resin case off, fingerprints all over the watch. So there's our there's our module. 
want to keep that back on. I'm guessing that back is probably part of the protection, but I think let's try and take this off first. So we can see there's our G-Shock and that should go over the top. That actually looks pretty cool. That should go over the top like that and sit on there. And then we need to screw that into the bracelet, which I assume should go in there. So let's have a look. Here's our bracelet. In theory, that should go in there like that. And that should go in there like that. And then that's our watch. Fairly straightforward. Uh, we probably want to check out the bracelet size. This is always the bit which is a bit dodgy, at least for me. I hate having to do bracelets. So we probably need to take out, I would say, two of these from each side. Challenge being, how do we do that? There's our band glorious as it is to go with that case uh, now we need to work out how do we take that out we usually have the pins to look at how we do this these are this is a kit for the other one uh, these are the things we need to screw in okay so maybe because these are the same as these. It's a little bit different in terms of coloring. Uh, are they all the same size? Looks like it. But how do we make the bracelet smaller? Okay, just had to go look at the video again to try and remember how we sort of shorten this up a little bit. And I remember we use this tool. And what we do is we push this in. Okay, got that done. I think the trick is to turn it on its back and then try and put that pin in. It just seemed to pop in a lot easier that particular way. So we took out two. Let's take out two from here. Touch that together.
Okay. I think we're done. This is the King modified in a stainless steel bracelet. Very groovy watch. And I've got the bracelet just, I don't know, maybe I could add back one more on the other side as well. But that's fitting just pretty solid. Okay, so there we have it. That is the GX56 King done in a stainless steel bracelet. Um, very groovy looking watch. I'll tell you, my wife hates it. She said, so gaudy. My son thinks it looks very cool. Um, so stainless steel. A couple things I'm a bit unsure of. The screws, which go in here, I would like to see them a bit more recessed. Um, they don't recess all the way into the uh, the bracelet, and I kind of wonder, is it, like I can't screw them in much more, and I don't want to do it. Maybe it's part of design, because all four are still sort of sticking out a little bit. It's not terrible, and maybe that's part of it, but I'm not sure if it's completely even. So I wasn't quite sure if that one was recessed before with this particular case, but when you look at this, I don't know, it's one of those watches where, yeah, it is totally over the top in terms of colors and everything, but it's a, uh, a damn good looking, solid stainless steel G-Shock King. Uh, so, so yeah, um, interesting watch. I think I've learned a little bit more about modifying the bracelets and putting it sort of down face wing to be able to put the, the bracelets back in. But there you have it, a G-Shock King watch, which we'll be trying out today. Very, very rock solid watch. I'm looking forward to really showing this one off. So thanks so much for spending time with me today. I hope this has been fun. Keep modding. Enjoy your day.